Uh, Chuck, quickly, you went to the movies this last weekend. I did. Did you enjoy the experience? It was fine. I didn't see a movie because I've seen everything there, but I was out at the Savoy. Very clean, very have it together. I bought a big popcorn bucket, a reusable one, uh, that you can go and get refilled. So even if you don't want to see a movie, get, stop out, get some popcorn. You'll be able to use that container later. They're ready to go. So nice that they're opening. Yes, it. it is. Well, let's start with The Dig. Is this one we can see in a theater? Um, I think some theaters are showing it, but you can see this at home on Netflix beginning tomorrow, Friday the 29th. Um, Who would have thought that a movie called The Dig about dirt could be a lot of fun and wonderful? <laughs> this is, it stars Carrie Mulligan, and if you saw Carrie Mulligan in Promising Young Woman, she is nothing like that in this film. It really shows the range that she has as an actress. Um, she stars as Edith Pretty, and this takes place just at the beginning of World War II in England, and she is a widow and is raising a young son by herself. She's a wealthy woman, has a country estate, and there are these mounds, these huge mounds that are centuries old on her property. There's something that calls to her to want to dig these up. She hires an excavator, not an archaeologist. He's not trained to be an archaeologist, but he does know anything and everything there is to know about dirt, especially around that area. Uh, Basil Brown is his name, and this is based on a true story, and Basil comes and starts to dig up everything that is underneath this mound. The two of them together, this is really a story about relationships and their relationship. You see him here as he's starting to, to unearth everything, but really what's unearthed is not just the treasure that lies beneath, but the treasure of these two people as they explore their friendship and the young boy that she's raising, Robert, her son, and his relationship with Basil. Um, this becomes a story of possession, class, and the patriarchy in the society in which they live. This is a complicated story, so many layers, and as those layers are peeled away, we are endeared with each of the characters and understand them more clearly. Um, this is a powerful story, and knowing that this is a real story makes it that much more impactful. Beautifully shot, Carrie Mulligan is extraordinary, and Ray Fiennes transforms himself into this shy and lacking confident man. Sounds wow. like you would recommend it. I think it was good. <laughs> I agree. Right, good. It was awesome. Four stars. So we leave the love story for, for our supernova over of here. Of course. Yeah, of course we leave. <laughs> it makes all the sense in the world. Because when you think love story, you think Chuck Koplinski, of course. <laughs> yes, yeah, Supernova. And this one you can see in theaters as well as on Amazon starting tomorrow. Supernova stars Stanley Tucci and Colin Firth, two of our best film actors, and they are firing on all cylinders here. Uh, they are lovers. They have been together for quite some time. Tucci's character is named Tusker, and he is suffering from the first stages of dementia. His partner there, Sam, played by Colin Firth, uh, is doing everything he can to take care of him. And they go on a road trip. They go on a road trip in which they see some old friends, they visit some old haunts, and they dance around the subject of what's going to happen next because they know the road that they are on and they know that it is going to be incredibly difficult and they both have differing opinions as to how to deal with this thing that has come in and is going to destroy their lives. Incredibly, incredibly moving, moving story. I mean, there's a lot of soft, quiet scenes in here. And these two guys, you believe every single I'd moment like that they are speech. in. You believe that these two guys have been together for years. And this sequence at the dinner, oh my God. He has written a letter in which he tells everyone goodbye. And if you aren't choked up by this, well, you're probably dead. Uh, but, you know, fantastic acting, fantastic story, incredibly moving. This is one worth going to the movies for. Really? Speaking of going to the movies, this weekend a new Denzel film is out, mm -hmm. and you guys reviewed that, but we're saving it for the website. Right. Well, there's just too much this week. I mean, it's one of those weeks there was too many, but yeah, if you go to Real Talk with Chuck and Pam, you'll see our reviews for The Little Things. Denzel is a haunted cop, and they're after a serial killer who may be Jared Leto, but I'm not going to tell. Right. Oh, dun dun dun. dun, dun, dun. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> all, all right, right. we'll sound like some uh, good ones to check out this week. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we love having you all here. No puppies were taken home at the end of this segment, but if you, need to, <laughs> no. <laughs> if you need to connect with Chuck and Pam and hear all of their movie reviews, head to stayliving.tv.